Welcome to episode three of uh, Feed the Beast with your host, Uncle Mongo. Well, let me show you what we did. I just got a perimeter set up. Um, did, uh, no, made some tools and made a starting to make a pathway. So I thought I would do that with you guys because you guys are my favorite guys to do stuff with. Alright. You know what? Let's make this easy and start at the bottom. Duh. Alright. I hope. Oh, really? Dude, you totally made a big creaking hole in my staircase. Where the heck did he come from anyway? Dropped out of a tree, I guess. <sighs> How blase. Really? Creeper. Yeah, hmm, really. Hmm. That bastard. Hope he didn't waste any of my stairs. Let's put the door back. Zoop. Zoop a shoop. Yep, that's cheating. And I don't mind that I did it. Not one little bit. Hey, Roy. Crikey. Alright, we're out of... Torches. I made all the torches and they're lighting up the inside of the house. So, let's go. Well, we have a mine. And now we have a path to the mine. Let's go check out our mine. Gonna need to do something with that uh, rubber tree soon too. Well, you know, as soon as I oh I don't know find some copper, and tin and copper, and lead and iron and ta copper and iron and copper. As you fade away, Captain. So, as you guys know, I tend to record consecutively. So, let me know what you think of Feed the Beast. Because, yeah, I'm recording all these, just one right after the other. I hope you guys like them. I'll be honest, I'm still constantly amazed that I don't have more views. But, oh well. I honestly don't do this for the views. I do it because, well, it tickles me pink. You know, like a pop female pop star with insane abs. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. I talked about pink in this episode. I put her in my tags. <laughs> That's ten. I recognize that. That I do. The accent on the oh, and that's copper. Copper. Oh, baby, see America. Oh, see that's and I'm wondering why I don't have views. 
Huh. Well, that would be it right there. Yep, so that's 10. Let's make sure. Verify 10. Hey, Copa. Oh, I'm just clicking like a madman. Alrighty. See, once we get the right materials, we, uh, get some turtles going, some, some, uh, get a quarry. Oh, what the heck? That's a beehive. That I cannot right click on. Alright, well, that's a beehive. I am very amused at Joe Hills. I'm very amused at, at Joe Hills. Yeah, he is taking on being, uh, well, doing doing a beehive in this with forestry, and that's from what I can from what I've heard, it's really really difficult. But he seems to be pulling it off. I'm quite jealous because first off, those things are everywhere, so they'd have to be a reliable resource of some kind. So. I hear lava. Another nice energy source. Oh, did you guys see that? Pickaxe broke. New one popped right in my hand. That's part of inventory tweak. Which, I, anyone who's seen my channel before, you've seen me use that. I happen to like inventory tweak. Probably going right past the lava. Which I guess would be better than going right into the lava. Right. Past is better than into. I'm g I, dear guys, I just have some insane ideas for this. I can make multiple bases. Well, looks like we're hitting our end of our... That was the last torch I was able to spare. I might have to go up and chop down some of those trees and just start making some charcoal. Because luckily trees grow back really quickly. Yep. Oh, we're gonna have to go back up because I can't. Oh, wait. All the way back down. We're at 43. Hey, at least we got below sea level. Of course, maybe a smarter man would have started on sea level. Me? I don't know. Considering I literally just picked some arbitrary spots to start doing all this. Oh yeah, and all these, all this hopping is gonna eat away at my food bar. Oh, sun's getting low. We're gonna need to do something about that rubber tree, so we can get us some rubber trees. Um, let's check on the trees. Speaking of which, that I planted. No, oh, wow. Okay. It broke the pickaxe.
Wow, that was rather productive. I'm glad I planted all those trees that way. But I did use all my pickaxes. Sun's going down. Let's go ahead and just sleep. I save any coal. Nope. And that's what that's for. So we got some copper. We got some tin. Now I'm gonna eat a nice refreshing apple. Shift control. Whoop. All the cobblestone went up there. Wait a minute. Why didn't that one go? All the cobblestone. Hee <laughs> hee. And shift control. And shift control. Shift control. Huh. Real way up to a little bouncy. You know what? Let's take some of these down. Oh. Down in the underground. Alright, that'll give us eight more. Eight more charcoal. Oh, there's another geyser right there. On low and behold. Oh, there's two geysers out there. Oh, yeah. Once I get uh, build craft stuff going, make up. Uh... All right. That's... Yeah, we'll get a. Um... Let's see. We'll get. Um... What's that thing called? A world anchor. What? We'll get a world anchor underway. I hear him, do you? Side of a tree, a skeleton archer. Don't know if you guys were able to hear him or not. But yeah, I had a skeleton archer sitting inside of the tree. So as soon as I got rid of the tree, I suddenly had friends. So that kind of was not cool. Okay, let's go ahead and put that there. Not where I wanted that to go. One. Let us plow, let us plow, let us plow. Oh, I'm gonna need a vent out to get some cows. Get a cow ranch going someplace. Crazy 
snow biomes. Alright. Well, let's get back up. Oh, look at that. There's ten right there out in the open. Get one piece of tin out of that, and that was it. Back to house. There's the geyser. Didn't think I was that far away. Alrighty. And there we go back up. Woo! Alright, guys. Well, that was fun. We got a lot done. We'll get more done. And uh, hopefully soon, you will see a macerator, generator, carburetor, ignition system, steering wheel. Wait, no. Macerator, generator. Those are the first two things I'm going to work on. And then electric furnace. Well, okay, then iron furnace, then electric furnace. And then happiness and joy throughout the land. Happiness and joy throughout the land.